Welcome everyone. In my last tutorial, I created client-side validation of Google's reCAPTCHA, but in this one, I'm going to create Google's reCAPTCHA validation with server-side. So let's get straight into the point and go to google.com slash reCAPTCHA slash intro slash v3.html. Go to your mic reCAPTCHA. I'm going to create a new one, call it localhost, and I'm going to choose recapture version 2, check box 1, I'm going to add localhost for my domains, accept, do not send alerts to owners, and click register. You will be redirected to this page. In this page, you will find site key, secret key, client side integration server side integration so let's start with copying the site key here in my workspace i have created an environment the php file to store my uh, keys because it's much more secure so now i added both in environment variables so now i need to require this file it's since it's an external file Oops. require once php obviously so let's go back to this side and for the client side integration i need to copy this and paste it before the closing head tag i'll go back Paste it right here. Let's go back and paste this snippet before the submit button. As you can see, I added a disabled attribute because I want when the captcha is verified in the client side integration, this attribute to be removed. So I'm going to add a function. First, I need to open a script tag. And I create a function, and I will call it capture verified. And right here, I'm going to create a variable, call it submit, etn, and say document, query, selector, or this element by ID, it's up to you. And I'm going to say submit btn remove attribute disabled. So for this function to be fired, I need to add a data attribute here called data callback, which will be go which is going to be equal the function we just created. Okay, let's save. Come to our server side. There's environment. Yeah, I mistyped the environment. Okay, click enter. And now let's try to verify the capture. Yeah, it asks me to verify right here. These are the crosswalks, okay, right here as well. Click verify, now it's verified. And as you can see, the disabled attribute is removed from here, okay? So, let's refresh again and see it's disabled right here. But if we are evil enough, or we are a bot, we can go into the DOM and remove it's a disabled attribute by ourselves. So, and when I click send, it sends something to the database. And we actually want to avoid behavior. So what should we do right now is the server side validation. I'm going to open a PHP tag right here. And I'm going to create two variables, one for the secret key stored in the env the site key sorry and the secret key equals the one stored in the secret key okay 
Okay. I'm going to remove this from here. And echo the variable I just created. It's the same. Because since I have a variable, why not calling it right here? Um, now, let's see. Yeah, the side key is obviously available for everybody to see. Um, and it's safe for them to see this key. No worries about that. So let's start validation. Let's go back to the documentation and see. Server side integration says that you get a response when the form is submitted. So I, if I want to submit the form, I'm going to check first if the form is submitted. And I will say the response will be post jury capture. This is the this is our response. Okay. So what I get from the validation, the U, this URL, I have to append the secret key and the response I just got from submitting the form. So I'm going to say payload will be equal to file get contents. Going to paste this URL, add our secret. It will be response. Oh, sorry, it will be our secret key and our response will be the response we just got from submitting the form. Okay, so let's echo out the payload to see if it works mm, line 63 ah, actually it's not here it's something right here what's wrong what's wrong right here mm -mm -mm -mm. Unexpected end of file. Yes, because I didn't close this. Okay, let's run this. Okay, line 24, just right here. Yes, I have to say if is set. Sorry for that, guys. I'm going to refresh the page, verify the capture, choose the traffic light. Okay, one and two. I think this one. Okay, now it's verified. I click send and I will get a response, a JSON response actually, from submitting the form. This response should say if it's success or if there's any errors. So if it's success, then the user have has verified the recapture. So since this is an object, I need to JSON decode the payload. And when I JSON decode this object, the success, instead of being true, it will be turned to one. So let's say our result will be equal to JSON decode our payload and I'm going to add a second parameter to to make it an associative array so I'm going to check if result not equal to one then I will echo out you are evil or a bot and I will return false. Then after I will echo, if it's verified, I will echo thank you. So let's try both cases. If I come here, refresh the page, and I don't verify the recapture, 
and remove the disable attribute myself and click send now i get you are evil or a bot and if i verify the capture uh, the store front let's choose the store front right here click verify and when i click send i get thank you so now you have created server side validation for google's recapture uh, this is the end of my tutorial uh, i've added a sample code on github the link will be provided in the description below uh, for you to start with uh, i hope i helped and don't forget to like and subscribe leave any comments if anything is not clear Thank you and I will see you next time.